So my buddy Kapa actually made this same video uh, not too long ago. I don't know when this is going up, so if it happens to go up when he did it a week ago, you know what, it doesn't even matter. He made one, and I decided what better way to get awesome views than copying your best friend on YouTube. So that's what we're doing today. Top 5 anime. Let's get into it! So I'm going to start off by saying that uh, the structure of this does not at all mean that it's uh, structured from the lowest list to the top. All these are basically going to be tens uh, that I've chosen on uh, my anime list, which if you're really, really curious about all the types of animes that I've watched so far, you can go to myanimelist.net and you can look up Rakutsuko and you will find all the animes that I've watched here. Now, I kind of want to um, do a little bit of a different thing where eventually I'm also going to do like genre specific favorites because I've watched a lot of genres of anime and um, I feel like I, I am not going to give them enough love if I uh, do it just, you know, all together as far as like my favorite all-time animes go. So I'm definitely going to be doing uh, stuff like Slice of Life favorites, uh, Shonen favorites. Um, I have watched quite a few Yaois, so I'll probably end up going into that a little bit in the future. Um, but just be ready for those because I, I want to give a little bit of love to at least each genre and, uh, you know, kind of show you guys the... Uh, the amount of love that I have for a lot of these animes that I've watched, that I've spent my time watching. So, regardless, let's just get into it. So the first anime that I'd like to put on this list, again, just uh, for, you know, just for reiteration's sake, uh, this is not the list of uh, from worst to best, this is just the top five that I have. Um, the first one that I'm probably going to end up putting on this list, and it's purely for nostalgia's sake, just as uh, my buddy Kappa said, is Naruto. Uh, I spent a lot of time watching Naruto. I feel like Naruto was one of those uh, animes that me and my brother really, really got into, and that's kind of one of those things why it's in my top five. Um, I mean, my brother Brandon, uh, my oldest, oldest brother, uh, started watching Naruto very, like, literally the first time that it came on in Toonami. Um, if you guys remember it coming out on Toonami at all, if you ever watched it, late night Cartoon Network kind of stuff. Um, it was, it was really, really cool because it was the first type of anime that I've really watched that, uh, I got into with another person. Um, me and my brother had previously watched, uh, animes like Detective Conan, uh, Inuyasha, Wolf's Reign, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But as far as, like, Naruto goes, it was the first, like, real shonen that I actually, like, got into, into, where I watched a crap ton of it. Detective Conan is still going on right now, and it's still got a lot of episodes, but it's definitely not in my top five for my favorites, only because I just never really watched a whole lot of it. And I could say the same for Inuyasha. I, I finished most of Inuyasha, but it, it wasn't uh, as extensive as Naruto was. So I, I definitely have to give it to uh, Naruto and say that it's it's probably one of uh, one of my favorite types of concepts for an anime early early on in the like 2000s. So as I've said before, I've watched a lot of different genres of anime. So this next anime is probably going to throw you a little bit more for a loop just because it's not within the shonen genre at all. But it is a sort of slice of life thing, and I, I'm i going to go ahead and say that slice of life is probably my favorite type of anime to watch. I just love the feel-good kind of thing that it gives you. I'm a very emotional person, so like when I watch something and it's very angsty or it's very sad, I also get very angsty and sad, and I don't really want to do that with my free time when anime is supposed to make me happy. As much as I love a good fight scene as next, you know, as much as the next guy, I'd really much rather see some really good fluffy feel-good shit. So, next one on the list is going to be My Roommate is a Cat. Now I'm going to start this off with, if you have not seen this anime, you're out of your fucking mind. You are missing so much. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite animes 
so far that I have watched in 2020 because I watched this very very early on in 2020 and it was such it was such a feel good anime that I just I I watched it straight through I binge watched this stuff and I could not for a moment take my eyes from the screen with how much just mm, mm, it's so feel good look at this cat it's cute as shit it's cute as shit so again if you haven't watched it seriously do yourself a favor if you like slice of life and you like some really really good feel good shit please go fucking watch it it's so goddamn good the next one on the list is uh probably not going to be as much of a surprise being that we're kind of delving a little bit more into uh the uh, slice of life stuff but i do want to give this one a a very heavy mention just because uh it was one of the earliest slice of life that i watched and uh, I used to watch it on Vivo, if you guys ever remember that. Uh, I used to be, or Vio, actually. V-E-O-H, I believe it was. It was either that or Vivo. Can't remember which one it was. But it was a very, very old application that used to have a lot of animes on there. Illegally! But they were on there. And this one's called Fruits Basket. Now, Fruits Basket is a different type of anime because it also has some types of shonen like into it but it's more so a slice of life than anything else but it is it does have a little bit more uh supernatural feel to it just because you know it, it's basically about the um it's about the zodiac <laughs> so basically uh it, it's about this uh it's about this girl named toru who um who lost her home uh lost her family lost her mom um, I didn't want to burden her family. She's a very, very, uh, she's a very timid and, uh, shy protagonist. Very, very, very apologetic, but also incredibly loyal. Um, again, I didn't really want to get into too much as far as the review goes, but as far as the anime goes, it's very, very good. It's very feel good, but it also has some really intense moments in it. So if you haven't watched this one either, seriously, do yourself a favor. Just go and watch these animes that I'm mentioning. They're, they're a little bit more on the older side, although uh, Fruits Basket has been being uh, remade on mm, Verve. I think the second season has been released for it, but I'm, I'm honestly not entirely sure. So you would have to probably find something and uh, check that out yourself. But regardless, let's move on to the next one. So, since we've already gotten a little bit deeper into the uh, Slice of Life stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mention the next one, which uh, was my very, very next Slice of Life that I watched right after Fruits Basket. And uh, it definitely stayed in my heart a lot more than Fruits Basket. However, uh, it, it doesn't mean that Fruits Basket is any lesser of an anime because of it, but I, I felt more connected to the characters in this one than anything else. And the next one's actually going to be Orin High School Host Club. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a very, very weird slice of life thing. There's, there's a lot of different types of, uh, there's, there's a lot of different types of animes out there. There's a lot of gay humor, which uh, always, always gives me a little bit of a chuckle. I'm, I'm always, I'm always ready for, for some cool gay humor inside of, uh, you know, what is mostly a, uh, I guess a, a shoujo? A show, is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But it's actually really, really good. Uh, the characters are in, incredibly funny. I, I love every single one of the characters. And I, I also um, felt a lot more uh, like a character building was done inside of the anime. Um, I actually just bought the manga for this uh, very recently. I found it at a secondhand bookstore super weirdly enough um i think i found like the first like seven or eight volumes of it and it, it's I, I haven't read them yet but as far as i know the anime was very very uh on point to the manga regardless so i don't think you really miss a whole lot when you read the manga versus watching the anime but um or i should say the other way around you don't miss a whole lot when you watch the anime versus the manga but i i I don't know. It, it's it's a really really cool anime. Um, it's basically about this uh, this this girl named uh, Haruhi, who who is this this just very uh, again timid, kind of sort of shy at first protagonist who who stumbles upon this room and uh, gets just 
completely assaulted by these super rich, uh, hot high school dudes that uh, go to the same high school as her that run a host club. And uh, it kind of gets into a lot of the backstory of how the host club was, um, how the host club was made throughout the episodes, which is basically just like a lot of history lessons. But they do it in a very, very clean and uh, character building way, which is really, really cool. I like it when an anime does that and they give a lot of substance to the characters. That's probably why I like this anime so much because I like being able to have a very, very real connect to the characters and feel like emotionally attached to them. Um, so that's, that's why it kind of sucks when I'm watching other animes and like, uh, you know, they have that, but then they take those characters away. It's why I can't watch a whole lot of shonen stuff or any, any real heavy things. Cause I just feel like that gets a little bit too much for me. So definitely a, a very, uh, incredible, I have not been giving any of these ratings, by the way, the ratings for these, uh, every single one of them is, is a top 10 on, uh, my anime list.net. So if you, if you're looking, these are all going to be on my very, very high scored list. That's why I wasn't giving them a, a spot on this list. So it didn't, uh, I didn't want to create like a disconnect there, um, with like trying to say, oh, this one's my absolute favorite. So, but I will say that, uh, this last one might take you a little bit more by surprise just because it's a little more recent, but, uh, I've been in the fandom for a very, very long time now since it started, um, since the uh, show started at the very least, and then I started reading a lot more of the manga. This anime has given me a lot, uh, as far as, like, the, the fandom base goes, just because I, I've met a lot of really, really cool creators, like artists, um, writers, and stuff like that, just really, really cool, awesome people that, that are, that are so creative, and get, like, a lot of, like, creative juices running just because this show exists, or this manga exists, I should say. Um, and, uh, this next one is going to be My Hero Academia. Um, I, I can say without a doubt that this is definitely one of my number ones for me. Uh, just mostly because I, I absolutely love almost all of the characters in it. Um, there is a lot of character building inside of this anime. And the fact that it's about superheroes, which, uh, I've always been really interested in, but not interested in enough to really get into comics... Because I, I always felt like comics would just take too much time and they're, they're so short that I just never really wanted to get into them. But with manga, it's a little bit different because you get a whole lot more out of just one, uh, one book. And I know that's kind of unfair for comics and I'm not ragging on comics at all. But I, I've always been a little bit more inclined towards manga than, than actual superhero comics. So the fact that this is about superheroes and stuff like that leaves a lot of room for people to play around with. And that's why the fandom is so, like, just ridiculously, ridiculously huge. Um, it, it's about as important to me as, uh, as the Harry Potter fandom was the main hero or protagonist of the series. Uh, Midoriya Izuku is is this just powerhouse character and while he is very shy and timid as as most others that I've mentioned in this list he's also very strong he has a very like strong-willed characterness to him and it just it, it makes the show feel so just incredibly genuine when it comes to you know the 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 rights versus the wrongs and i think that's why a lot of people end up liking it not to mention that the character building in it is really really cool you get a very very good like um connect between yourself and the characters you get to learn a lot about them and you know they're teenagers so you get to watch them kind of grow as people they're not already these adults that already have these strong personalities they don't have to build anything they're they're younger you know when you were younger you were you know going through the same stuff as far as schooling and your peers and you know the evils of the world and stuff like that and while it may be a little bit more enhanced through actual villains you still learn quite a bit through this anime so i think that's kind of why it's uh more so on the top of my list even though this wasn't necessarily supposed to be a list that i was ranging from lowest to highest but I, I feel like My Hero definitely has to be one of, uh, one of the top ones that I've ever watched. So, that's going to be my list. 
And uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and comment below and let me know which one of these, if you have watched any at all, are your favorites in this list. Or if you have a rating for any of these, please do say so in the comments. I'd love to start a discussion. Again, if you want to check out myanimelist.net and uh, give a look at all the animes that I've watched and see my ratings on them, you could certainly do so. In the future, I will definitely make a more uh, genre-specific top 5 or maybe even top 10, depending on how many we go through. Um, but I think, uh, I think this is probably... I think this is this is probably good just mostly because these are like my all-time top favorite animes So thank you so much for watching really really appreciate it you guys are awesome If you have anything you want to discuss down below you can check out my discord Which is uh, linked down in the description as well as my Twitter. I do Do a little bit of posting here and there about certain animes sometimes and uh, yeah I guess I will see you guys in the next video Good later